It's a cannabis reviewer here. I've added another little bit to the grow box I'm working on right now. This is the piece of cardboard that's going to sit on the back of the air conditioning unit and will direct the, the, the heat that comes out through the coils, which won't, should not be much. And very, I don't think it's going to be that hot. I'm going to nip that in the bed for all you guys and folks out there that they think it might be. I will monitor it. I will turn it on for an entire day and uh, on one of the hot days and see how it works. See, see what happens. Uh, I will have this room air conditioned that it's in, that the grow box is in, but this will be uh, ported out up into the attic. And it's great because it literally just sits right on the end. It's the same size as the air conditioner. So took two four inch holes. Basically I laid them down and down on the car on here, drew out the circle, took a razor blade. Same razor blade that I used for the sheetrock, but I put new blades in it, of course, and uh, cut the holes out. So now I've put the first one in. See, this is a thick box, too. But if, I, if it starts to get any kind of warmth at all, I will not hesitate to replace it with some thermal uh, material. Because I don't want anything to catch fire. I don't think that it's going to be on that long. Then I basically now I'm just going to trim that back a little, tape it up, get that ready. I have I have the tape right here that I'm going to use. Yeah, do the same for the next one. And then put it put it on the box, throw some tape on it. Get these routed up to well actually before I do any routing, I'm going to turn it on and see how well it blows out of those, see how well, well it works. And then uh, bring it up out of the up to the attic. And still make sure that it works fine. And then port it up. Uh, I was thinking about putting in uh, some, putting a couple vents on these up in the attic so I don't have any rodent issues. Um, haven't done that yet. Not sure if I will. Uh, I guess if I fall, one falls in there, I'll know it. I probably will have to. Buy some vents for it. I want to make sure that it works pretty good though first. I mean, uh, if you think about it, I, I doubt, I don't think this is going to get any any warmer than uh, an air dryer vent, and it's not going to stay on that long. I have a small box. It'll kick on. It'll probably kick on for thirty seconds. I'm just hoping that it's not too big, and the compressor can, you know, doesn't have trouble. In, in that it just it comes on but it never kicks on long enough or anything you know well it's all trial and error yes i could calculate all that shit but this is shit i already have in hand that it's not costing me that much money i already had the air conditioner i went looking at, at other air conditioners that i could potentially use but i, I haven't gone up to the extent of looking at any that have i have a, ther a con externally controlled thermostat which would be Obviously, bees knees, right? But uh, the second one would be a two hundred and fifty dollar model that sits in the unit and uh, has temperature control on it. You can use, uh, but it, that temperature control, if you read the fine print, says that it blows the the air out at the temperature you're setting on the dial, not keeps the temperature in the room that that degrees. So I don't, it's kind of confusing. Anyway, we'll try it out. I'm going to add this to the next series of videos. So there'll be a part four more than likely. Or at least an addendum to the others. Just to show you that it, it's done. I could always throw this on the cannabis reviewer on the other side. but I, Oops, sorry about that. But I think that uh, I'll just keep it here. Okay, cannabis reviewer. I may or may not be back. I don't know. We'll see. Bye-bye. Now, I'm adding the aluminum tape that I bought. And I'm wrapping it around slowly. And sealing it. This is the first one. It's done. Yeah, I know. It's not pretty. 
Doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to be functional. Second one's done. Get, so I just wanted to show you. I rip off a small piece. About, about that long. Wrap it around. And just keep piecing it all the way around. Okay, now we're attaching the box to the uh, air conditioner, not microwave. Figures I'd say that. These are done. I may get a hair up my ass and decide to put some around here, but I haven't felt any leaks yet. I did do a, a test. You see these. I put these on just to hold it in place first. And um, then I turned it on, and boy, it just blew out a lot of good air. And I'll probably only need it on high. But it'll work on high, but it really pushes it out. So it's working in terms of that. And then I'll now I'm sealing it, as you can see. I'm using the aluminum tape, same tape that I used for that. And because it's super fucking easy to use. It's actually easier than the duct tape, as long as you don't need the durability and the extreme stickiness. It's, this is definitely more flexible, but it's thin. So it's going to be. But anyway, I'm going to go all the way around underneath the box. You get the idea. And then I'm going to leave those for now. Because I'm probably going to go buy some exhaust vents for those. So I don't have the squirrels or God knows rats or anything drop into this. Because once I have it sealed up, the last thing I want to do is unseal it. If I don't have to. If it gets too hot, I will. Anyway, that'll be next. Having that complete. And I think after that, there's not much more left to do. Maybe we'll hang some wire in here. I mean, at some point, I've got to hang some either wire or string, I should say, so it can dry. I may just tap into here and here and here and here. I doubt it's going to be any taller than four foot totally. I mean, yeah, the other plant right now is probably like this tall, but that's including the root base and all the other shit if i have to i'll go higher we'll just have to see i may think about that as a solution too because i don't have a good solution on if i want to move it up yet except for maybe the corners and do maybe some kind of cross thing and there's ways to get it done okay done babbling this is a cannabis reviewer Right. I decided to go ahead and remount this back over here where I thought I'd like it first time. I probably prematurely put these in, but I wanted to see how it would look. So I have two up here for, the, for in case the plant is really, really tall, which I don't think I'll need. And then I have four here, which I only really need the two. So we made, you know, this one and maybe this one. And I can, I'll cut these if need be, but I wanted to put them in to see how they would look. I, the only thing I really have left to do with this is make sure that all the lights taken care of. There's no light coming into the box and that that box right there doesn't get too hot and I can ventilate properly. I mean, everything else looks pretty damn good. So that'll be good. Uh, this I think this will pretty much end... This, this little extra video unless, I, unless something happens with that box uh, I'll, make, I'll come back for that anyway here it is completed for the most part I got a little button up to do but mostly completed for the most part drying box ready to go this is the cannabis reviewer the cannabis reviewer here next step next stage got it all sealed up really sealed up good so there's very little light, just a little. It's hard to seal both of these because this already hinders the airflow a little bit. Put my hang grow hanging uh, cords, if you will, one there, and I got four there. One, two, three, four. And uh, this has pushed it over. There we go. So probably can use these, but if not. I got those big, those up there, so we got plenty of room. But the idea is to put them here and then have the air, put them here and then have the air kind of flow out slowly and kind of drop down and keep everything cool. If, 
after this is done I may decide to connect these two and if I do then I'll be taking out a section right here more than likely and that'll help fill it fill it up I know it's opposite of what a lot of people do bring it in from the bottom and suck up but we're gonna bring from the top and suck so somewhat suck down suck to the middle anyway okay probably the last one I said that last time this is a cannabis reviewer here and as I always say happy smoking